Welcome back to the show. Today's episode is about Elon Musk. This show is about Elon Musk's jet. Also about Elon Musk building another way to transport people from point A to point B. And these people are SpaceX employees, boring company employees, uh, Tesla employees, all the businesses that Elon is involved with, possibly friends and family as well. So this is about Elon Musk's airport that he's building near Austin, Texas. Now, let me tell you about how we know how much Elon travels by jet, because there's been a lot of stuff going on in the media about superstars and media personalities flying 14 minutes in a jet, just basically hopping from one side of the city to the other side of the city. And literally, I can't blame them for saving two hours going from one side of LA to the other side of LA if it's traffic. I totally get it, but it costs a lot of money, bad for the environment, and there's been a lot of scrutiny lately about that stuff. So this is going to be kind of a point of contention for some people because it's a private, private, private airport that Elon is building for only the people that he knows and that he trusts and employees of his company. So here, let's take a look at this Twitter account at Elon jet. This is how we know where Elon travels to. So this is a, a, a basically a map of everywhere that Elon goes in his jet landed in Austin, Texas, approximate flight time, 50 minutes. Okay. So from Austin or to Austin, 422 gallons of uh, jet fuel, uh, 2,831 pounds of jet fuel used, used $2,848 of, uh, cost of the fuel, four tons of CO2 commissions. And he took off from Brownsville, Texas, just to do this. It cost $2,848 in jet fuel to get from Brownsville, Texas, which is on the very right side of Texas, the east side of Texas, to go to Austin, which is only about a five or six hour drive away. But they made it there from um, Austin or from uh, Brownsville to Austin in just a little bit. So as opposed to sitting in a car for five hours, I get it, Elon. I totally get it. But $2,848 worth of fuel, 422 gallons of fuel, four tons of CO2 emissions just from going from Brownsville to Austin, Texas. So that's how we know where Elon travels from this Twitter account. Basically, Elon and this Twitter uh, user uh, got in a kind of a heated battle for a little bit there because Elon knows that the uh, this person is tracking them, knows everything that Elon is doing at any time and says, hey, can you please just like back off a little bit? I'm kind of a big deal and I don't want to get hurt. Everybody knows where I'm at all the time because of your Twitter account. And this person says, well, you know, sorry, this is public data. I can't really do anything other than continue doing this because it's out there anyway. And if I stop, maybe somebody else will do it too. So we know all of this information about where Elon is going and where he's been because of this tracker. So this tracker can continue to do these things as long as Elon is part of the, um, the normal everyday, you know, flight paths. And to say those things out loud from this uh, Twitter user saying, Hey, Sorry, this is available to anybody and I'm I don't know like what I'm going to do, how how it's going to hurt you or whatever. And it doesn't matter because this information is out there. I don't know if that's responsible or irresponsible because somebody else will probably do it anyway. But now we know, you know, we know how Elon is going to get around. He's going to get around by a jet. It takes a 50 minutes, about an hour to go from uh, Austin or from Brownsville, Texas to Austin, about one hour. So Elon gets out of his uh off his private jet, goes to the airport, goes to Austin and does his thing. Uh, Tesla, boring company, et cetera, all in the area. So he has every right to do business and to continue to save time doing this, but it just costs a lot environmental impact and also money, but he doesn't care about the money. It's like three grand to him. That's not a big deal. That's like picking up a dime off the ground for us. So we're like, Ooh, that's not that much money, but you know, 
whatever, I'll take it, <laughs> you know? Um, so basically, Elon wants to build an airport outside of the public airport of Austin. So this is something that Elon's been wanting to do for a while now. And it, there's been rumors of it for a while, but just recently some more statistics and things came up that show that Elon is actually serious about this. I'm going to show you kind of what the, um, the current situation is the Austin executive airport. This is a small airport outside of Austin. And basically you fly in here, it takes a couple minutes to get out of your airport. The tarmac's right over here. You know, it's a small airport. It's a tiny airport, like one plane at a time. So we're assuming something like this is going to happen when Elon builds his own airport near Austin. And there's a few photos, uh, the runway here, a couple photos from the runway. And you can see it's a pretty small place. There's not really a lot going on here, but that means that Elon would also have to be where other people are. You know, and maybe it's not the, the privacy or the safety thing. Maybe, it, maybe it's just Elon wanted to get away from people. You know, maybe Elon and the people that work in Austin, maybe it's just easier for them to do this and to have their own shuttles and not have to worry about kind of figuring everything out. It's a logistics thing, possibly. So they have their own airport, fly their own planes in there, fly their own helicopters in there. They have their own service, their own car service that pick people up. They don't have to take Ubers anymore. And then they go directly to manufacturing facilities. Maybe they go directly to their office. Maybe from here, they can pick up another flight that goes to Brownsville, Texas, down to Starbase. It takes a couple minutes to do that, you know, 15 minutes to do that, to go from here to Brownsville, Texas, which Brownsville, it's a cool little city, 200,000 people, very cool people, and Starbase is there, and that's really cool. So a couple minutes in an airplane, not too bad. And here's a here's their website, the Austin Executive Airport. And I think it's going to be something like this. You know, it's going to be a small airport. It's going to be really nice, going to be nice and cute, you know, but um, pilots, they have a pilot's lounge, which will probably be a thing in the Elon Musk airport. Personal quiet rooms, probably a thing too. Weather room, pretty cool. Personal entertainment. So basically uh, watch satellite TV programs. The pilot's lounge area also comes with a comfortable personal entertainment area. Easy planning. Austin's best. This is kind of cool. You know, you just got to sit around and hang out and, you know, lounge around, get some food. Talk to your friends, eat, uh, drink a coffee, whatever, Dr grab a little snack, then jump on your plane and go someplace else. But we're assuming that this is what's going to happen with Elon's uh, airport, but it's going to be probably better than this because Elon is no stickler or he is a stickler, I should say, for the best of the best. I mean, he has the money to do it. So use the money from Tesla and the other uh, stocks that he has in order to pay for this stuff. So this is possibly going to be happening in the next, you know, year, maybe two. They might break ground this year. We're not sure exactly where it's going to be, but it's supposed to be somewhere east of Austin that we know of. And that's all we know at this point. So I want to give you guys a little kind of rough overview of what we know so far about Elon Musk's uh, future airport in the Austin area. So let me know what you think in the comments below and also subscribe if you uh, like this kind of content. That's about it. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.